It looks like the closing scene of a Hollywood film, but this horse is part of a more factual tale. Here with Archer. Archer was the first Melbourne Cup winner in 1861. Fortunately, Archer's dead now, but we've got Archer 2 here who'll be joining me on the road. Archer's not the only legend. His rider Ed's a bit of a hero too. He's just come back from the Olympic pentathlon. That's fencing, swimming, show jumping, running and shooting all rolled into one. He says the dream all started here in Wagga. I learnt to ride in Wagga and I've got a lot of family and friends in Wagga, so it feels like a second home. Now Ed's set himself a new goal, but this time he'll stick to riding. Ed and Archer are on a five-week trek, mirroring the 1,000-kilometre journey the legendary Archer took before winning his first cup. It'll take them from Braidwood in New South Wales to Hillsville in Victoria and raise money for those suffering with depression. My mum had severe depression for a long period of time, and so I really, once I came back from the Olympics, I really wanted to make a positive impact on, on people's lives and uh, depression, I saw how much that impacted mum's life and our life. Charities have already begun donating. It's a long trek for both of them, but both horse and rider are ready to go. <laughs> it's important for him too. <laughs> There's time to sit back and relax now, but true to Archer's legend, they're aiming to complete the long trek in time for Melbourne Cup. Brittany Klein, Prime 7 News.